is the norm rather than the exception, rather than the exception, requires imagination and it requires courage. Three decades ago, a group of dedicated young activists formed the People's Fund with the goal of generating financial resources for community-based groups that were actively involved in social justice-related projects. From the very beginning, there was an awareness as the People's Fund developed into what became the Bread and Roses Community Fund. There was a recognition of the intersectionality of oppression. That it was foolish, that it was a mistake to focus on a hierarchy of oppression. To say that racism and classism and sexism were issues that were entirely separate. Instead, the Bread and Roses activists understood implicitly that all of these forms of hierarchy and domination cut across each other, and that it was necessary to develop a strategy of social transformation that focused on the grassroots, which in turn required an analysis that drew the connection between race, class, gender, and sexuality. And that is why And that is why the Bread and Roses Community Fund has had such an enduring and powerful impact upon the greater Delaware Valley and greater Philadelphia. Over the last three decades, the Bread and Roses Community Fund has, within its strategy of grassroots social change, has focused on multiple areas of oppression, women's rights, lesbian and gay rights, disability rights, civil rights, and anti-racist work, environmental racism, and the struggle for environmental justice, the struggle for a living wage, and efforts to halt U.S. militarism abroad. In the 1980s, focusing on Central America and the Caribbean, and in the 21st century, focusing on Iraq. The women and men who we honor here tonight are long distance runners in the race to achieve the vision of social justice here in America. 